It's been a week of dosing silica. How is the tank doing? Let's get into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video by Serif. So it's been about a week that I've been dosing silica to my tank to fight off dinos. So I thought I'll give a quick update on how is it doing and if it is helping at all. Just a quick recap on why I'm dosing silica. If not watched my previous video, I've been fighting dino flagellants and in specific, anfredinium. This particular species of dinos resides largely in the sand bed and hence I'm trying to induce a diatom bloom on the sand bed to outcompete the dinos. I've also added other forms of bacteria, phytoplankton and copy pots to help combat it. Before I go into details of how I dose the silica, I just want to show you how the tank looks like right now. It is the ugliest that it has ever been. My tank has never looked this bad. But in this case of what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to encourage a diano, diano, I mean diatom bloom. So it is meant to get ugly. The only way to know if it's working is to take a sample and look at it under a microscope. Diatoms and amphidinium, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, looks very different under the microscope. Diatoms come in many types, but generally speaking, they look more like a stick with elongated bodies. As for amphidinium, they look more round in shape, like an oval ball, and they have a particular movement that you can tell it is them. I'm hoping that under the microscope, I will get more stick-looking organisms than round organisms. So let's take a look. And just as I hope there are more diatoms, which is a great sign that they are starting to grow to outcompete the dinos. So the plan is to keep dosing silica till it is almost all diatoms. This is a very long process and battle, so I just have to leave my tank looking ugly while I wait for it to outcompete the dinos. On the bright side, because it is amphidinium dinos, the corals are all doing fine. So I'm quite happy with that. And it is only affecting the looks of the tank which is not as bad as if it were killing corals. In order to induce a diatom bloom, I have been dosing sponge excel, which in essence is a silica. So using a salifert test kit, my silica level was read to be 0 ppm. And for people who have been using sponge excel to fight off dinos, they recommend trying to achieve a 2 to 3 ppm. As per Brightwell's recommendation, I followed the instructions to add around 20 drops to my tank, which in theory would increase the silicates to around 2 ppm. However, doing, after doing this for about a week, my silica levels are still unregisterable. So with that in mind, I've increased the volume to around 30 drops per day. Talking to other reefers, they highly recommend dosing around 3 times the recommended volume that Brightwell says, but I just want to be a little more cautious with dosing. Also, I have started to see some diatoms on the sand bed as well as on the glass, so I do not want to rush it as well. I think more can go wrong quickly than slowly. With that being said, I just want to assure you that many people have overdosed um, silica into their tank almost 4 to 5 times or even 10 times the recommended amount with no ill effects to corals or fishes. I do feel safe knowing that and generally speaking because I do not see any impacts on my livestock as of now, I do not mind overdosing it a little just to increase the silica. To give you a realistic timeline, I've seen people conquer amphidinium in about 2 months, which in today's society might seem like a really long time, but in the grand scheme of things, it's actually not a really long time. For me, I have two goals. One is to solve my dino issue and the other is to ensure that none of my livestock are harmed. So I don't mind taking 2 months or even 3 months to handle this issue. Hopefully in the next few weeks, the diatoms will start to take over and solve my dino issues and outcompete them for light as well as nutrients. With that, I think I'll end my video right here. Just want to say thank you for watching even though my tank looks really ugly. So stay safe everyone, love your tank, till next time, see ya, bye bye.